Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this one I'm going to be going through the best video settings that will give you the best possible FPS, as well as the best possible visibility. Let's jump straight into it. The first setting you're going to want to look at is the monitor's resolution. For most people, I would recommend playing default res, or your native res on your monitor, but you will get a small advantage if you play in an aspect ratio of 4x3. This is because it will stretch your screen and make the opponent seem as if they're closer to you. But the trade-off being you lose periphery vision on the sides of where the native res would give you visibility. It's also important to come here and play on full screen mode. This is because there's a bit of input lag if you play on windowed full screen. And of course, you want to play on the highest refresh rate possible. Here on screen now, this is going to show you the input lag of each individual setting when they're on maxed. The input lag being the time delay between when you click the mouse and the command going through to the server. So if you add this delay on to your net delays as well as the time it takes for it to register, it can quickly add up to quite a substantial amount of time. So we want to get this as low as possible. Firstly, here in my settings, you definitely want to have boost player contrast on. This will just help with overall visibility. You definitely want to keep vertical sync turned off as this will simply cap your refresh rate. Now, in regards to anti-aliasing, this has some pros and cons. Firstly, it of course carries the largest input delay, but a lot of pro players do like to play with a bit of anti-aliasing because it smooths the edges and makes the game a lot more visually pleasing. But on the other hand, the trade-off of the input delay means many other pro players opt to play with none at all. I also choose none to give me the best possible advantage at the expense of how the game looks. Global shadows you of course want low as it'll lighten up those dark spots on the map for you and help with visibility and increase your FPS. Models and textures is a very similar situation. You want this on low it'll give you a small FPS boost but the expense and the trade-off of this is of course your skins will not look as good. Shader details this again will give you more visibility of the opponents when there's no shadowing on their bodies and particle details on low also. This will reduce the particle effects of the molotovs allowing you to see over the top of them better and also the HE grenade splashes, they won't obscure your screen quite as much. In terms of ambient occlusion you always want that disabled, it will help you see around the corners and edges of the smokes and high dynamic range will give your game a lot more colour pop. This combines perfectly with Nvidia's digital vibrance. And now finally, for the last two settings, you definitely don't want to have super resolution on under any circumstances. And Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, from what I hear at the moment, is bugged and will give you more input delay. So Nvidia need to patch that as soon as possible. Other, more miscellaneous settings you want to add, you want to come here to your console and type in Speaker Config 2. This will help reduce the ambient sound you hear in the background of the game and allow you to hear footsteps and movement much better and also s and mix ahead as shown on screen. This will help with the overall audio positioning. Finally, the last thing you want to change is your rates of course. This will help with your overall hit registration and updating you on where your opponent's position is. I'll quickly throw these on screen as well so you can change them. Once you've entered them in console, you should be good to go. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.